With recent leaks and knowledge of ship engineering, it begs the question, what will the future of multi-role ships be? And of their crews? A lot of you would have hoped to get out there solo in your Polaris, but since we have recently learned about engineering, the expectation of that happening has become a faded idea. Since you will need a set amount of personnel to run engineering roles to keep the ship running and maintain any damage inflicted. I'm not saying that people won't be able to adapt to this, but it will definitely present challenges for crew members and large groups of people to actually work together. Now, we are still yet to hear much about AI crews and blades, so hopefully if any time in the near future we, we actually hear about this, or even some info on the front about this, you know, I see a lot of people, I know a lot of people will go the route of having an AI crew. Because to put it simply, a lot of people will be childish about working on other people's ships. And they may not like it, but this will be the future of Star Citizen. It's either a make or break. And unfortunately, those who are a break will gracefully be let go on from the game or go down in a post on Spectrum, voicing their displeasure of not having an easy time because they can't or don't want to crew an Idris or a large ship. Now, with the roles of engineering, we have to find a sweet spot for the roles. For example, how many engineering and support roles for engineers will an Idris need? Being so large, it may need a handful of people to run multiple decks when under attack or in battle having to make sure that the ship is running at optimal power at all times. That's what the discussion of whether or not it's worth buying a larger ship or capital ship is. It's important, I know a lot of people want one, and well almost everybody wants one. Now you have to ask the question whether or not it's logistically worth it speaking, is it worth having it? When someone could already have the same ship and more or less have the ability to have it crewed or vice versa, remember that the engineering gameplay is going to be a vital component to the verse. So remember to not only learn but to have adequate communication among you and engineering staff on board this ship if you do have one of these ships. Hopefully when the arena commander mode goes live with engineering roles being tested Hopefully people will learn the process of working and communicating with others about what needs to be done and what needs to happen on the ship, where they need to go. Hopefully the ship minimaps help with this in a big way. So the discussion in the past, I can see people being quite resistful and taking roles in their, you know, their stride, or it could be like master modes, which is quite ridiculous and even CIG possibly shooting themselves in the foot. But I think that they will be firm with their decision and, you know, the roles being that they have an intention for them. Because no matter what, there will be a lot of spectrum threads of people voicing how they hate the change. I think a lot of people will be graceful and learn about these roles. Hopefully be, you know, it'll let people realize that they aren't the only ones and not the only ones that matter. Because to actually be a part of a crew or enter battle is to help their friends in need. It would also be nice if CIG waited for an AI crew to be a thing and working before considering the idea of implanting engineering into ships and changing the whole game dynamic. I think that people like instant gratification, which again is based on the person and it's nothing but personal and personnel. But it does raise questions from the real world scenarios. It could affect this game role, but on that note, Seriously, like, I know a lot of people aren't going to enjoy this gameplay, and I know that Master Modes isn't liked, I know that the engineering roles aren't going to be something that is favoured, but we do know from history that this was going to be a thing and that they really wanted to push some sort of real life expectation in this game. So, again, I hope you enjoy this discussion, I hope that you got something out of it, but I think the discussion on this topic will go a lot deeper. I know a lot of you will feel very different. I've read comments on similar content I've put out there and generally the relax reaction is the same across the board. I'm also looking at putting together a podcast based on Star Citizen where we select topics to discuss and whether or not we could let the community choose from polls over the coming weeks. The topics and what it could be related to are pretty much open. It just, as long as it involves Star Citizen, it's pretty much an open topic. I 
as you know, have been doing a lot of leaks, a lot of content. I do a lot of ship based content. So anything you have, voice your concerns in the comments and it's something that I'll be putting together and I have a few people. I know you guys want to see Space Jesus. So that is one person I'm approaching and I've got Lee coming in and maybe even in the future we have guests on the show. It might not happen. It might not be something that I pursue, but I hope you all enjoyed this. Let us know down in the comments what you think of this video and this topic and even the podcast and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.